Hey, y'all. I just wanted to take a quick moment to show you exactly how Gaiazo works. Um, it's actually really simple, although I think you really just kind of have to see it in action. And it was getting to be a little bit difficult to demonstrate um, how to use a GIF creator with a GIF. It's going to require videos. So, um, and by the way, I am not completely sure how you pronounce it. I am just guessing. I So I'm calling it Gaiazo GIF here. But um, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have it installed. It does work on Windows, Mac, and Linux. It does not work on Chromebooks. However, if you're looking for a Chromebook solution, I've got a couple of ideas at the bottom of the blog post, and I'm sure other people will be sharing some things in the comments, so be sure and, and check that out. So the first thing I want to do is actually open the application that I have installed on my Mac here. And so um, it is called Gaiazo GIF. Um, Gaiazo is a separate application. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Immediately, um, the background turns dark and my mouse turns into these little crosshairs so that I can click and drag to select exactly what I need. And I love that because most of the time I don't need full screen. I need to select just one tiny little portion so that I can zoom in on the task or the feature that I'm trying to demonstrate. And so for today's purposes, I am just going to click and drag um, and show you how to insert uh, a GIF by URL. And so I'm gonna click and drag. I kind of have to guesstimate a little bit here, knowing how this window opens. Notice it tells me how many pixels this is going to be. I am on a large iMac, by the way, so that's why that number is is, is, um, is a pretty high resolution and I am on a tiny portion of the screen. So um, as soon as I release the mouse, this is really important, it will start recording. So I don't release the mouse until I'm absolutely sure I have selected what I want and I know exactly where I'm going to click to start this. And sometimes this will take me several tries to get this right, uh, just, just practicing. So once it starts recording, in the free version, you only have seven seconds. In the, in the pro version, I believe it's up to 60 seconds, but seven seconds goes quickly. And so sometimes it takes me a few times to get it all in in seven seconds. But... I'm going to release. I am going to jump up here. You see it started recording. I'm going to click on insert image by URL. I'm going to paste in my GIF. And so you can see that it has completed recording there and it's processing. It will immediately open up the Gaiazo browser window here. I'm a new tab inside Chrome. And so I'm logged into my account. You, there really is an advantage to having an account because I can save this image to all of all of the images in my account and I can come back to it and reuse it so I don't lose it I don't have to worry about downloading it somewhere I can just click save and then from here I go to share and I almost always use the direct link although you can get um, HTML and markdown here if you're interested in that and I will just copy that and then paste it where I want it to go so for instance um, if I want to insert it here, remember insert image. And by the way, GIFs work best in Google Apps when you do it by URL. The, the whole upload and download thing, almost every time um, I have, I actually have never seen it work correctly that way. It just doesn't seem to, to be the way to do it. So um, I will paste it in. Be sure that the URL that you are using for whatever GIF you have actually has .gif at the end of the URL. So that will help you there too. And then just click select and it will insert in here. And so I can use this now in my presentation and share this with others. So I hope this helps you see how it works, how easy it is um, to create a screencast, Jeff. So, so check out Gaiazzo.